Let's examine different aspects of Mickey's character in the play. Remember, Mickey Johnstone is the twin who Mrs. Johnstone chooses to keep and look after. Hence, his life and the path that his life takes is far more unfortunate as a result of his working class upbringing than his twin Edward Lyons, okay? So there's lots of different aspects to his character, which you can consider as well as different quotes you can t attach to those aspects of his character. Now, one thing to remember is that, especially when he was much younger, he is presented as very streetwise and mischievous, okay? So he's quite streetwise and that's actually something that draws Edward's character, especially when Edward is much younger, to him, okay? Now, this is shown when Mickey uh, introduces Edward, of course, to swear words, okay? So he states as a young kid, I know loads of words like that, ellipsis, like the F word, okay? And Edward is, you know, oh my gosh, I can't believe I've learned these words, okay? So again here, what this is illustrating is that Mickey, he's quite street smart. Of course, he's a working class child. He's kind of left his own devices by his mom and is very independent and quite street wise, okay? As opposed to Edward, he's very coddled and very looked after by his mom. The other element of how, uh, which illustrates just how street wise and mischievous he is, especially when he's younger, is when he tells Edward, ah, ellipsis, take no notice. We've been caught loads of times by policemen, okay? So early on, he is just very uh, dismissive. Oh, don't worry about the policeman. But of course, this becomes a real thing when he's much older and he ends up being jailed for seven years, okay? So he's then heavily punished by the law, okay? The other aspect of Mickey's character is we do learn that he's deprived as a result of his working class background, being raised by a single mom. He doesn't have very much money, but also going through a school system that isn't very great in terms of catering to his needs and ultimately having a job which he ends up being fired from and laid off from, okay? Now, the first point that illustrates and um, shows how deprived he is, is when his mum, Mrs. Johnstone herself, kind of reflects and wonders whether it was a mistake to not have just given both Mickey and Edward away. She tells Mickey, you've not had much of a life with me, okay? So this rhetorical question, and of course Mickey says, no, 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 I absolutely love you, mum. However, this shows Mrs. Johnstone recognises, like, much like we as the audience recognise, that his working class upbringing has really made him deprived, unlike his twin brother, Edward. The other quotation which illustrates how deprived he is, okay, he's also deprived of freedom when he is sentenced to jail, is the quote, the jury found him guilty, okay? The hand of the law is much harsher on working class people than it is on middle and upper class people, and we see this in Mickey's persona. The other quotation, which illustrates how deprived he is, and he ultimately recognizes this, is when Mrs. Johnston reveals to him, you, uh, you know, I kept you and Edward was adopted, and he is furious because he would have had the life that he really envies that Edward enjoyed. He tells his mom, why don't you give me away? And of course, this very dramatic exclamatory sentence shows that he really felt his deprivation. And of course, also when he tells his mom, I could have been him. He really envies the lifestyle and the life that Edward had. The other aspect of Mickey's character is he does grow resentful. The harder life gets for him, the older he becomes, okay? And this is illustrated when he does also show the resentment that he feels for what he sees as Edward's really fortunate upbringing. He tells him, while no one was looking, I grew up. And you didn't because you didn't need to, okay? And that's true, okay? Working, working class children tend to grow up much faster because they're exposed to the world more frequently. Their parents are not always around. Maybe their parents are working double, triple shifts, right? So they have to kind of cater and fend for themselves. They have to get jobs much earlier whilst middle and upper class children can afford to go to university. They have just a bit more of an easier life and an extended childhood, okay? And that's what Mickey is showing. And he feels quite resentful towards Edward because of just that background, in that difference in background. Also, uh, Mickey states, how come you got everything and I got nothing, okay? And this is especially shown when Mickey, after he comes out of jail and he realizes even his own wife, Linda, is having an affair with Edward, who seems to have everything, yet Mickey has nothing. And he's very resentful at this difference in class, how his life has turned out so differently because he's working class, whilst Edward being middle class, okay, upper middle class, his life has panned out so easily for him. The other aspect of Mickey's character is that he does um, he does seem quite an unfortunate character and this obviously makes us feel a lot of pathos for him as uh, the audience. Now the first quotation which illustrates how unfortunate he is is when we realise he states, I can't cope with this, especially when he realises that you know, he's got a baby on the way, he doesn't have a great paying factory job and then he ends up losing that job anyway, okay? So he is very unfortunate and very overwhelmed by all the responsibilities that come at him very early and very fast in life, okay? then. 
we realize also he's unfortunate because he is fired along with loads of other factory workers for no reason that just purely because the factory no longer needs them okay and he states the started laying people off and of course he also gets laid off the final element of mickey's character to remember is however in spite of all of this he's a very intensely loyal person and whilst early on both linda and Edward are quite loyal to him ultimately they do become disloyal when they betray him and have an affair behind his back okay Mickey never loses that sense of loyalty that's why it hurts him all that much more when he realizes that they were having an affair so this is shown early on when uh, Mickey tells Edward we're blood brothers and ellipsis will always have to stand by each other which obviously illustrates that Mickey is an incredibly loyal person maybe loyal to a fault okay so when you're thinking about Mickey's character consider the fact that he's streetwise he's quite deprived He's also very resentful of the opportunities that Edward has had in life. He's an unfortunate person. He highlights the unfortunate plight and the unfortunate struggles of working class people, working class men and women. And we also realize that he's a very loyal character.